Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm very excited for today's video because we are gonna be testing out my new Centro knitting machine. You've probably seen these on the internet recently. I know I have, especially on like TikTok, Pinterest. Um, I've seen tons of people making stuff with these knitting machines. And so I finally got one, I got it for Christmas. If you've been here for a little bit, you know that I'm a crocheter. Like I made this top by the way, just wanted to show you. I'm a crocheter, I've never knit in my life, but I felt like this might be kind of fun to try out knitting with my knitting machine. If you haven't seen one of these before, basically, you like can turn this and it basically will knit for you. So there's like a panel mode or a tube mode. So you can either make this all just one big tube or make a panel where you go like back and forth and it just creates a panel. I have tried it out a little bit to try and get a hang of like the panel and the tube mode. And I think I've got it. So hopefully this video isn't a total fail, but I, I have high hopes. I feel like I can do it. In case you're wondering, the one that I have is the Centro 48 needle knitting machine. And mine came with a darning needle, a crochet hook, I think another needle. And then it also came with a bunch of little balls of yarn which I really liked because I just used that yarn to practice like the tubes and the panels. So if you're wanting to buy like the exact one that I'm using in the video, I'll have it linked down below. So anyway, my plan for today is to make a sweater with this machine, which sounds crazy to me because a sweater is like such a big thing to make, I feel like, but I've seen people make sweaters with these knitting machines and they don't take that long or they don't seem to, um, I guess we're gonna see. But this is the yarn that I have chosen to use for this sweater. I kind of ruined the label opening it, um, but it's the Sirdar Jewel Spun. It's an Aran weight, 200 grams, 500 meters. And this is in the color Sandstone Sunset. I feel like these colors are so pretty and I'm really interested to see how it works up for the whole sweater. And by the way, I need to give credit where credit is due. I've watched a few different videos that just go over like the basics of using this machine in general, like casting on to the machine, making a tube, making a panel and casting off. And then I also watched a video where a girl makes a sweater, like exactly what I'm trying to make. Um, and she shows how she does that. So I'm gonna leave all of the videos that were helpful to me down below. And I think that this should be enough because this is the same type of yarn that the girl in the video that I'm watching used. So fingers crossed that I don't make a giant mistake and not be able to finish the sweater. I feel like I've said all that needs to be said. So let's make the sweater. Okay, I've zoomed you in a little bit to show you what I'm doing on the machine. But the first step is to cast on our yarn on the machine. So I'm just putting my yarn in the middle um, and grabbing the center. And you can't see it, but there's like a little uh, button right here where you switch from panel to tube. Um, and it's currently in the panel mode. So that's important to keep it where it'll stop you. Um, so you can't just go continually. You can only go to the end of the panel and then you have to go around the other way. So first I'm just like winding back to the first pin. Okay, so here we are, it won't let me go anymore. Um, and so this is actually pin number one. And I'm just gonna leave a little tail like that long and pull some yarn and make a mess. Okay, there we go. I'm wrapping my yarn around this first peg after the white one and you just wrap it around there and then you start just weaving like backwards and then in the front and then in the back, in the front, and then you just alternate going back and forth. So once you get to the end, you're gonna take your yarn and thread it to the through the little feeder. And then I'm gonna pop it into this first little hole. And by the way, the row counter on the machine doesn't work in panel mode. So I got this app where I can just like tap every time I do a new row. So once I've gone to the end, I'm just now weaving back 
the other direction. I've reached the end and this is moving. Let's fix that. Okay, I, I reached the end and I think it just needs to go over that hook. And so I think I'm ready to go back. So now we go back the other direction. Another one. Okay, I think this is right. I'm like concerned that something's happening that shouldn't be happening. Um, but I'm gonna go a little bit more in. I hope that I'm doing it correctly. So for this, once you get over here, all it needs to do is go over that pin and then you're good to turn the other way. See, that was not good. I don't know if you saw that, but this like just unhooked completely. Um, okay, I'm gonna undo everything that I just did because I think I did something wrong. And we're gonna try this again. I'm just taking this off and I'm gonna start over because something was a little not correct there. So far so good, I think. This is where I had problems last time too. And then I think I did another one. Okay, I think I figured it out. Um, the ends are a little weird. That's where I'm having trouble. It's like when I go and I'm finishing this end, this end starts popping up. And so it's a little bit weird, but I think I've got it. So I'm on, I just did my 19th row. So I'm on my 20th. Um, see, it's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it like, it stresses me out, but I think it's okay. So yeah, it's working out really nicely, I feel like. So I just did row 29 and this is how it's looking. I really love the colors and how it's starting to work up. I'm gonna do 100 rows for the front panel. That's what this is, or the back panel. One of the big panels that make up like the body of the sweater. I'm gonna do 100 rows. So again, I just did 29. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And I guess I'll just get back to you once I've done all of the rows for the front panel. Okay, I just did my 100th row, and now it's time to cast off. I'm just gonna start with this very first loop, and you just put it on the needle, and I'm just going through all of them and just picking them up, and then I'll just pull through as I go. Okay, so this is the finished panel. I just finished casting it off and I'm in love with this. It's beautiful. I think the colors just look so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. I'm so excited. It's also super stretchy, which I'm happy about. Um, so in case it's not like the perfect fit, um, I should still be able to wear it, I think. So I have this panel done and now the next step is gonna be to do literally the exact same thing for the back panel. And then I need to make the sleeves, which are also gonna be panels like this, but they're gonna be skinnier. It's not gonna be as wide and they're gonna be longer, obviously, for like a sleeve. Um, so I'm gonna start making my back panel. Okay, here are both panels completed. This is the one that I just did. And I actually, I had a couple problems with like dropped stitches or things. I don't know. Like there's a drop stitch there, I think. And I am not sure how to fix it. I don't know if I can fix it, but I'm not super concerned about it. I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal. So I'm just kind of ignoring that. And then I also had a thing 
at the end that was kind of weird but i just like picked up some extra loops with a crochet hook and tried to fix it i don't know this one wasn't perfect um, i kind of was going fast so i think maybe that was a problem but i still think they look amazing and i don't think it's gonna be a big deal now that the front and back panels are done all i have to do now is the sleeves which is going to be um, a similar concept except i'm not going to go all the way around on the machine i'm just going to go for fewer stitches i i'm going to do 35 because i think that's what the girl did um, in the video that i was watching and then for the length for the number of rows i'm going to do 125 i believe um and we'll see how that goes so i'll do that and i'll get back to you we're done front panel back panel and our two sleeves the sun is setting i've been sitting here doing this for like four hours now um so i'm kind of ready for it to be over but we're so we're close okay all we have to do now is sew them together so we move to the ground now and these are my two body panels um and it doesn't matter which one's front or back because you can wear the top like either way but um i picked out which side i want to or which side meaning like that i want to be the top and which the bottom because these are kind of some rough edges as you can see and there's like some drop stitches there's things up here and then now i'm gonna put them right sides together so now it's like inside out as you can see and then that's the wrong side also and now what i'm gonna do is just seam the shoulders a little bit to create a neck opening and i'm not sure how large i want the neck to be but i think i'm just gonna try something and just see what looks good i marked off where i want to seam to so like i'm seaming the shoulders together there and then this is the neck opening and then i'm seaming them together there sorry this lighting is so disgusting but um right now i'm just slip stitching these panels together up to the safety pin that I put, which is where I want the neck hole to start. This is what we're dealing with. Um, I have, this is the middle, like this, the shoulder seam, and I've marked the middle of the top of the sleeve, and that's obviously gonna go in the middle where the shoulder seam is. And then I also have marked like how far I want this to stretch okay so it's the next day right now and she's done I think it's beautiful I love the colors. I love how it looks. I did finish this yesterday and I actually like filmed an outro and everything and I was like done. But the more I look at it, the more I'm just like not super happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cute and I do really like it, but there's just little like imperfections and stuff. Like there's this loop there in the neckline that I don't like. I don't like how the panels meet on the sides just little things like that that i don't love and i want to love the sweater you know what i mean so i've decided that i'm going to um try and fix those little things so i think what i'm going to do is just crochet like a single crochet around all of the openings so like both armholes the neck hole and then the bottom opening and i feel like that'll make it look a lot more neat and polished and then i'll actually really love it because i tried it on and i really like how it looks aside from those random little imperfections but i think i'll really love it if i can fix those and i'll show you guys what it looks like after i finish this i also want to mention that this is all of the yarn i have left so we cut it extremely close and i still have to do obviously the slip stitching 
for the single crochet. And I think that should be enough, but it's gonna be very close. Maybe I should start with like the areas that are the worst. Like I'll definitely start with the neckline because I feel like that needs the most work. And then I'll do the bottom opening. And then if I still have extra, I'll do the armholes because this is not a lot of yarn, but I think I should be able to do it all, but we'll see. It's done. The top is finished and I think it looks literally so amazing. This is all yarn that I have left. So we cut it real close. And I just think that it's the cutest thing ever. There is a little bit of bumps and stuff there um, from when I did the single crochet. It kind of like pushed some stuff to the back. But overall, I'm still really glad that I did the single crochet because I think it just made it look a lot more tidy and neat on the ends. But I'm just so obsessed with how the colors work. I love this yarn. Um, I just think it looks beautiful and it looks so one of a kind. It was made on the machine, but I feel like it still looks very like handmade, one of a kind, unique. So if anybody asks me where this sweater is from, I'm gonna absolutely be telling them that I made this because I'm just so proud. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching this video. I really enjoyed trying out the knitting machine. I had a good time and I think I learned a lot. Um, I'm definitely gonna be making more of these and using the things that I learned to make them better. And by the way, this entire video was filmed on my new camera. Um, so I made a little upgrade. I bought a nice camera. So let me know if you think it's better. And if you don't, then still tell me that it's better because this was an expensive camera and I, it definitely is better. It's definitely better. And if you're not subscribed, now is a perfect time to do that because I have so much stuff planned for 2023. I bought this new camera, so I have to hold myself accountable. And I also just have so many ideas up here for things that I wanna do. I wanna do more stuff on my knitting machine. I want to learn how to like actually hand knit things. I just bought some knitting needles. I'm obviously gonna keep up with my crochet stuff that I've been doing. I wanna do some rug making stuff. I'm also gonna be moving this year. And so I wanna do a whole series about like furnishing my new room and thrifting for things and DIYing stuff. So that's gonna be a whole thing. Basically the wheels are turning up here and I've got a lot of fun things planned. And a goal of mine is to definitely focus really hard on this channel this year. So there are fun, exciting things on the way. So you should subscribe so you don't miss out. And of course, if you wanna like the video or comment something, that would be appreciated because that helps me out. But yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.